this is the only water and mud we've seen for more than a month and this isn't due to rain uh, it's because of the high tide in the creek uh, we've been under coastal flood watches and warnings for the last week um, and it's it's been pretty bad with this tide coming up so it's coming up here into the uh, field uh, but it only goes to here and then the field slopes up and uh, then it, I don't have a problem but on this particular farm I've got a couple of places where it uh, is close uh, to water level and so when that tide is high it comes up into the field makes it a little bit wet and sloppy um, full moon is tomorrow night so that is affecting this tide some as well uh, that full moon is pushing that tide up so hopefully after the full moon rolls through uh, tomorrow evening uh, we won't have an issue with this tide but I'm hearing uh, people along the waterfront talking about how high it has been uh, for the last uh, week or so uh, the road uh, going into Point Lookout State Park I heard had a couple inches on it this morning um, another road I saw pictures uh, yesterday afternoon um, uh, over near an island uh, that was uh, flooded pretty bad as well so yeah the water is not not because of rain although we do have a chance tomorrow evening and then again on Wednesday so uh, let's let's hope we get a little bit because it's awful dry This is water right here in these soybeans. We try to keep the header up just above them. Yeah, that's not working. I'm going to switch mounts and mount you right here so you can get the windshield view.
sure if you can see it through these dirty windows in the sunshine, but the water up in the yard here. So that's what a lot of waterfront properties are looking like today because of the coastal flooding. And it's not because of any rain that we've had. Uh, I think it's mainly because of the uh, full moon we're having tomorrow night. Uh, I believe there was a storm out in the Atlantic, so that could be pushing some of the water up into the bay, uh, causing some of this high tide as well. So yeah, waterfront property isn't all it's cracked up to be, in my opinion. I've got a broken guard that I need to replace. Uh-huh. I think the nut came off. Now, isn't that amazing? The bolt is still laying there. Okay, I'm going to turn you off. Yeah, that's what I said. Uh, and I'm going to fix this. That's done. New guard, new bolts, new nuts. It's all good. All right, let me uh, take that load of soybeans and put in the bin. Okay, as you can see, the neighbor behind me is uh, cutting soybeans today with their MFR and their JDR. And I am unloading soybeans.
this may be the last pass across the end and I will be out of the water. You know, I just learned something from Twitter, and I never knew this until now, but my president just tweeted out, Happy National Farmers Day. I did not know there was such a thing as National Farmers Day. Apparently it is on October 12th every year. Uh, so, yeah, National Farmers Day. And how the hell do we celebrate that, you ask? Well... I guess we uh, sit on a combine and harvest some beans. At least that's the way I'm celebrating it today. I don't think I will see the sunset today. Clouds are rolling in. Uh, chance of rain uh, tomorrow morning, I believe. At least the tide has gone down. Uh, it's just mud in these fields now. No water, or very little water. Only in Maryland can you be in a severe drought and still leave tracks in the field while cutting soybeans. This is an awesome sight. The sun did go down behind the clouds. This is uh, looking out over the Potomac River. But if we turn and look this way, there is a sure sign of rain. So that's a cross, I guess, between a rainbow and what we call a sun dog. So the old um, old time farmers, uh, this is one of the ways they predicted weather when something like this showed up. I've never seen one this large before. Usually it's half that size and it doesn't have uh, the, the other colors in it. Uh, but that is, that is awesome. So usually that's a sign of rain within 24 hours. Well, okay, maybe I'm wrong. As I'm getting back in the combine, I look up, and we've got almost 
a complete rainbow here. This is this is crazy. Wow. So the sun is dropping out of the clouds there just before sunset here. The sky is just um, unbelievable tonight, this evening rather. With the clouds here, it's not going to show up that great with this GoPro. But this is awesome. Okay, let me uh, get back to work here and keep on cutting. Sometimes you just got to stop and smell the roses.